Well, good morning, everyone. So today I'm working with a wood circle. It is, I believe this was a 12 inch wood circle. And I've seen people do the infinity pour where you have two cups and you pour um, your paint on the canvas. And I wanted to go ahead and try that out. So I'm going to be layering uh, my colors. I have quite a bit of paint, so I think I can get the colors layered a few times in each cup. Um, in my first cup, I'm going to do uh, yellow. As you can see, it's a really nice even flow. I have my orange and I have my magenta, a few of my favorite colors. I use those colors quite a bit. And then in my other side, I'm going to do um, turquoise and some phthalo blue and some violet. And my violet was really thick, so I had to use quite a bit of water to get it thinned down, but it looks like it's a really nice consistency right now. So hopefully that will work out. And I am going to start, what color do I want to start with? Hmm. Dark to light or light to dark? I'm going to do light first. And I want them layered. I don't want it blended a lot, so I'm going to pour down the side of my cup so that the colors don't, hopefully don't sink into each other too much. Yeah, I'll have quite a bit of paint, but this will work out. If I have extra, I might try this on a set of coasters and see what that looks like. So I'm just layering my turquoise and then phthalo blue and then violet in this cup. And I think I have enough that I can layer one more time. And then I'll do the same in the other cup with my yellow, orange, and magenta. So I'm going to do yellow on the bottom. And I'll try and do three layers just like I did in the first cup. those colors all together. A mm, little bit more. I'm going to have some colors left over. And I think we'll have a nice mix. I'm going to save the extra paint over here. And I didn't really measure it out, but I actually, it looks like I have really close to the same amount of color in each cup. And then we're just going to pour. And we're pouring kind of in a circular motion with one set of colors going over the other. So hopefully I can make this work. some turquoise at the bottom so I'm going to bring it through here it's definitely a lot of purple should have put another canvas underneath I have a lot of paint but that is really fun so you get some really nice ribbons and striations through there. Wow, that's fun. Okay, so next time I need more magenta and less purple. Okay, so I'm going to 
move this. There's a lot of paint on my surface, so I'm going to get some coasters and probably swipe some paint onto some coasters, and we'll see how those turn out. Okay, so I just have, I didn't like the way that these turned out on the front, so I'm just going to um, put some paint on the back. But what I want to try and do, what I do to save paint on just acid-free pieces of paper, just take some paper and kind of scoop it up. And then what I'm going to do is just put it on my coaster like that and see how this looks. The colors don't look that great. They got a little muddy, but that's still kind of cool. The purple and the orange obviously don't turn out very well, but I do like all of the striations in there and being able to pick up the paint and do that works really well. So we're gonna try this area. And then just tilt it. Might need a little more paint. Oh, need another piece of paper. paint down at the bottom here. Oh, I like the blues in that one. There's a lot of turquoise. That one looks nice. try and pick up a little more paint. I can tell we're going to need some more on that one. But we'll try and keep our design that we already have because I really like the kind of little swirly that I got there. looks good. The paint wasn't too muddy in the areas that I picked it up from. So that one looks nice. Okay, and I'll do one more so we have a nice set of four. And if my paint is too muddy on here, well, I think I can get one more out of this section of paint. But this is a good way. I save a lot of um, paint on paper like this just because it's really easy to use for other projects. And actually I'm going to show you like this one, that area right there, um, that area through the middle. Uh, I will keep this one and probably use it for some necklaces, some pendants, or some earrings. And we're just going to tilt. Hopefully I have enough paint. I get a little more. There. <clears throat> so, along with the infinity pour, there is a way on how I save some paint and use some paint for extra pieces. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a wonderful weekend.